What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video. Today, guys, I bring you the ultimate leveling guide for your armor and weapons. I got a ton of questions, guys, on my leveling up armor and weapon video, the first one I made, and the, most of the questions were, how do I upgrade this? How do I actually get it past the threshold? Where do I go? And all that good stuff. So if you did watch that video, you're going to want to make sure you skip halfway through this video. I'll, pr I'll probably add a, a timestamp so you guys know exactly where that's at to when we get to the more advanced stuff. But I'm going to give you guys an ultimate guide on how to level everything from your weapon, your armor, and how to get it all the way up to S tier if the item is allowed to get to S tier. So if this sounds like something you're definitely interested in and are enjoying our content here on the channel, do hit that like. It does help us out with the algorithm. Now let's dive in and talk about how to level things up. So midway through the game, you're going to be unlocking a couple of areas. But the main areas you want to primarily focus on is this one here, the Table of the Lost Grace. You're going to need this. And that's pretty much it, guys. You're just going to need that area. And you're also going to need to have an area where you could go to a smith. So let's go ahead and just talk real quick about the weapons real quick and the armor. And what we need to do in order to upgrade these. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fast travel to this church. Basically any church, but this, this is the main church everybody knows, the Church of Ill. We're going to go here. And this is where we're going to be finding our table that's going to allow us to upgrade. Now, of course, every single upgrade that you want to do is going to require some sort of uh, you know material. And I have videos on the channel on how to farm everything. So basically, once you have a weapon that you want to level up, you're going to go here. Oops, not, not summon the horse. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to go here. And you're going to click on this. And it's going to allow you to go and say, strengthen my armament. Now, for example, let's take this weapon, uh, per se, the Sumber Smithing Stones. It's going to tell me that this item requires one Sumber Smithing Stone. And it also requires a total of 260 roots. So basically, in order for me to level up this weapon, I am going to need those items. So let's say I upgrade these items. But what exactly is getting upgraded when I do that? You're going to be able to know what exactly is getting updated because you're going to notice that the little... You have white stats and you have blue stats. Blue stats are letting you know when you upgrade this weapon, this weapon is going to increase in magic. It's going to increase in physical strength. And in addition to that, it's also going to increase in attribute scaling. That's really important. Now I'll have a video later on in the channel explaining all the weapon stats and armor stats to give it a better idea of what you're doing when you're doing the game because the game doesn't really explain all this. So I'll have a video called the ultimate weapon stat guide which will tell you how to do the armor and all the weapons. But this is just the gist of upgrading. So anytime you upgrade it's going to tell you how much it's going to increase it by because if you notice on the second column where it says attack power It'll tell you it'll go up to 90 physical, so that means it's getting increased by 11 points, and the magic is getting increased by 32 points, but your attribute scaling is also getting increased. Now, what the attribute scaling means is that the attribute scaling will be increased on strength and intellect, so that's really important. So we're going to upgrade this just for video purposes. We're going to click OK, and it gives us a second option to actually upgrade this. Now, as you see right here, the only thing that's really moving up is pretty much the physical and the magic, right? Because our attribute scaling has not increased all the way to S here. We wanted to get this weapon. We just hit OK again. And you're going to notice right now that the um, physical and magical strength has increased. Now, the question becomes, is la cool laser, how do you upgrade armor? Because there is no way to upgrade this armor in here. Or how do I get this sword to actually upgrade even further? Because I have a couple items here that I haven't, uh, that are still fully upgradable. But I cannot get past that. So in order to upgrade these weapons from, I would say, level 1 to level 3, and that's just me putting a number on it, uh, you're going to need, of course, runes. You're going to need summer smithing stones. And you're going to need to come to this area right here where you get that, uh, where you're able to upgrade it. Now, if you want to get past that threshold, you are going to go ahead and go to the table of the Lost Grace. Now, remember, guys, I have a video on how to farm the smith stones if you guys are having a hard time getting them. I have a video fully decked out on how you can farm these so you guys won't need to grind too much to actually upgrade these weapons. Now, how do we get these weapons past that? Well, let's go ahead and show you guys. So once you guys are in the round table, you're going to head to this corridor right here. I'm going to go through here real quick. And within this corridor, right in front of this girl right here, you're going to go through this area right here, and you are going to find this guy right here kind of hammering the thing away, right? So this is kind of like you're going to be at that. So you're going to talk to him. And once you talk to him, he's going to tell you, you know, he's going to give you a little bit of dialogue, but you're just going to click on it real quick. And then you're going to click where it says strengthen my armament. Now, when you go to strengthen your armament, 
if you saw my previous video, which I'll show you guys a clip of it right now, I was upgrading this weapon, which is called the Asuras Glintstone Staff, and I got to the cap where I couldn't upgrade it anymore, as you guys are seeing here in the video. It automatically just upgraded all the way to Intellect Day. Now, if I want to upgrade this weapon to a higher attribute stat and increase its stats, I actually have to come to the blacksmith to actually do that because that is the only way that I'm going to be able to upgrade this. So as you guys notice, I took my weapon, and now if I want to upgrade this to even more, it's going to require some burst smithing stones, but these are going to be level 4 stones. So there's all the way up to level 6 stones, and I have a video on how to farm each and every one of them. So to kind of sum up the weapons, basically, in order for you guys to level up your weapons to, say, level 1, you're going to need to go to the table at the church. If you want to go even further than that and want to upgrade your uh, weapons to a higher degree, you're going to have to come here and upgrade it with the uh, smith here, and he will allow you to upgrade this weapon. So as you see right here, I'm going to upgrade this weapon. You're going to press OK, and now that's fully upgraded to its maximum potential right now. It automatically became a S tier if I do the second upgrade. But as you notice right there, it says I am missing Summer Smithing Stones level 5. So in order for me to actually upgrade this, I need to find more, or I need to farm more Summer Smithing Stones level 5 in order for me to increment this from Intellect A to in increment this to Intellect S, which is where I want to be at, and to scale the sorcery scaling even higher and the physical damage even further. So that's how you guys are going to be able to upgrade this. Now, if you don't have this area, if you have this area unlocked, you can unlock everything right off the bat and level it everything straight up from here. So this is where you would go to get your weapon all the way up to S. Now, with that being said, how do you upgrade armor? Because if you notice right here, we don't have any armor in our inventory. We just have weapons, okay? So now let's talk about armor. So for the weapons, it's going to be a little bit different, guys. You're going to go to the first step, and you're just going to work your way to the left-hand side. And there's going to be this cave right here at the beach site. So basically, just go this way. Jump down with your horse and head all the way to the coastal cave. Now, once you're in the cave, what we're going to do, guys, is we can go in here and we are going to go ahead and get a couple items that are going to allow us to be able to do the um, upgrading our armor. So, here we go. Let's go in here and let's do the resting point. Okay. So, now we're at the resting point. That means in case you die, you're going to be safe from, from, you know, <laughs> from losing everything or just, you know, having to run all the way back here. So we're going to go to this cave real quick, and let's get our little flashlight, or our little, I like to call it a flashlight. Let's go with that. So we're going to go into this cave, and there's going to be a couple ads. We're just going to easily take them out with magic. Now, if you're not running a magic character, you can easily just backstab them, and you should be good to go. I usually like to go to this cave and collect everything that I possibly can, just because it makes it easier. I should have probably used another spell on that one. Why are you trying to run up on me, boy? Come on, dude. All right, so we're going to take this guy out. Get this right here. Go well, this way, and we're going to go here, see if there's anything that we could collect. Okay, let's take this guy out, boop, and he is dead, and we have another guy. Okay, he's trying to come up, run up on me. Why are you trying to run up on me, boy? Come on now. Right, so we got the land of octopus, and you know what? Let me, let me hit him up with this one. I had another so take these dudes out, and we like to collect because these, these dude, these uh, cave moths, they're so good for uh, getting your uh, stuff back or getting a good amount of money. We collect these real quick, and then it's <laughs> gonna say Old Knight Estevan, summon the corporate. Yes, we do. We want to summon him. Of course, we do. All right, let's go, brother. Come on. And now we're gonna come into the boss area, and uh, let's try to go ahead and kill these ads real quick here. All right, let's set these up here. And let's take that dude out right there. So as you guys notice, there are two different types of bosses here we're going to have to deal with. Now, once you have a good amount of spells, you guys should be good to go. And that guy should almost be dead. And he's dead. Okay, so now we got our, our guy, our old knight here. And now we just got to worry about this guy. We just got to make sure we keep on, an eye on our on our health because not on our health but mostly on our fp because we just want to make sure we have here he comes Whew. there we go thank you knight take him out all right so we're just going to have the knight kind of help us out right here as you see the knight is doing a ton of damage guys ton of damage and we take this guy out he's almost dead he's probably gonna hit me yeah and we're gonna try to hit him one more time with the magic Boop. and one more time 
and he should be dead. All right. So as you guys see right now, we killed him, and we got the tailoring tool. And in addition to the tailoring tool, guys, we are also going to get the sewing needle. All right, so this is going to be for upgrading our items and our armor. So once we have this, guys, we should hit OK. And then we should be good to go. We're just going to collect everything in here. And then we'll show you guys exactly what you need to do after this, okay? All right, so we're going to return back into the entrance. And from the entrance, we're going to go to the side of Grace. All right, so you're going to walk up to the side of Grace. And you're going to notice that now that you walk up to the side of Grace, you actually have this one, guys, which is called Altered Garment. Now, Altered Garment is a way for you to reroll or a way for you to change the appearance of your item. So I want you to pay close attention. When I go over to this item right here, you're going to notice that in the bottom right-hand side, it'll say that it can be altered. And you can see this one also says altered as well. Now, the way you're able to actually kind of figure out which one you want to use and which one you don't want to use is that you're going to be able to change the stats and upgrade or kind of upgrade or reroll the item. Now, how this works is the following way. If you're going to notice on the left-hand side, on the sorry, on the middle side, you're going to notice that these are the stats that I currently have available for this particular item. Now, you got to look at the stats you kind of want to pay a close attention to. For me personally, magic is the way I'm going because I, I am using a magical character. So I'm going to see what happens if I re-roll this. It actually gets worse. It gets 13.3. So I don't want to get that stat. Now I look at this one, and if I want to re-roll that one, that one actually stays the same if I want to alter it. The only thing that changes is the immunity, the focus, the vitality. So pretty much all these, all the attributes kind of change. So it's going to depend on what I want to do from these attributes. Now, this one in my re-roll here, if you guys notice, it doesn't increase my damage mitigation that much, but my resistance actually does get a little bit more improved and I do get a better stat. Now, in addition to that, I also lose weight. So if you guys are having problem with weight, that it's too heavy, you might want to take that into consideration. But in general, guys, that is how you upgrade armor in Elden Ring. I hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and informative. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.